Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'd like to talk to you about a question that comes up from enterprises quite a bit. How do you choose when and where to use service management and when and where to use API management? While it may feel like there's overlap, I'm here to highlight the differences that make it easy to pick the right technology for your use cases. First, we'll do a quick overview on service management and API management, and then we're gonna jump into the modernization journey as well as some use cases. We'll summarize everything at the end, but for now, let's dive right in. First, let's cover the basics. What are service management and API management? Service management is usually done with a service mesh. It manages the communications between services, and it's focused on handling overall service to service policies or telemetry. API management is usually done with an API platform. It's all about managing the life cycle of APIs and is geared towards API publishing, consumption, governance, and receiving analytics of usage of APIs by consumers. Those sound pretty different, so what's the confusion about? Here's the thing. Both service management and API management are an essential part of an enterprise's modernization journey. So the real question is not which one to choose, rather when and where. You might choose one over the other depending on where you are in your modernization journey, or you might choose API management for one use case and service management for a different part of your business with a different use case. If you're involved in a modernization journey, then you most likely have one or both of the following goals. To modernize applications with cloud native technologies to deliver software faster, or transform businesses by giving developers, partners, and customers unique ways to interact with your products. To accomplish both of these goals, you'll need both the service management and API management. Let's walk through six scenarios where you can decide where and when to choose service management and or API management. First up, imagine your organization is building an internal platform with requirements around standardized security, policies, and controls. Here, a service management layer will give you all the capabilities you need to secure and control the traffic within that platform. Next, your SRE team wants to monitor the health and performance of the services within that platform. In this scenario, service management can provide your team with the metrics, logs, and tracing so that they can set SLOs and get alerts. And what about when a network operator on your team needs to configure networking components so that services can communicate across clusters in hybrid and or multi-cloud situations? Service management provides you a way to standardize networking across those environments and components. And now imagine that this platform is owned by a business unit within an enterprise. They might wanna set up a shared service model where other business units can discover and reuse some of those standardized services as APIs. In this case, the goal is to provide easy visibility for other teams, which are outside the domain of trust, into what APIs are available and how to use them. An API management platform is a great way to govern this process. It would provide the mechanism to expose these APIs to other teams, provide access to these services, and the tools to measure API usage through analytics. Here, this organization is now at a point where they want to bring third-party partners and developers into the mix. This could be to adhere to industry practices such as open banking or to expand your business model to new channels. Similar to our last use case, an API management platform will let you securely expose those services outside of your organization and give you the tools and provide easy onboarding and access. Now that you've given all these stakeholders access to those APIs, you wanna see how they're being used and potentially even explore some monetization opportunities. This is another scenario where an API management platform is a great fit. You can get visibility into API consumption and growth, determine which APIs are valuable, and put monetization models around APIs that you want to charge third parties for. As you can see, there are many distinct use cases for service management and API management. Depending on your needs, you may start with one or the other, you may use them for different initiatives, or you may even use both service management and API management together to perform different functions for a platform that you're building. To summarize, if you're primarily looking for a technology for service-to-service -service communication that maintains the quality of service in a system composed of distributed services, 
then service management is the best fit. And if you're looking to drive consumption of those services as APIs by different business units or partners and build new business channels, then API management is the best fit. In our experience, both service management and API management are crucial in any organization's application modernization journey. Here at Google, we provide service management capabilities through Anthos Service Mesh, which is a part of Anthos, and API management capabilities through Apigee. Check out these links below for more information and let us know what else you'd like to learn about Google Cloud.